Get ready, because you're about to see a wild mix of Karens in action. From out-of-control arguments to moments that make you wonder, is life real? These clips will leave you speechless. This Kevin threw a tantrum at a fast food place because the worker forgot his napkins. Someone needs to remind him it's just napkins, not gold. You guys better get your head out of your You gave us all this food and everything, not one napkin. So are you the one in charge? Oh, would you like some napkins? Do you need napkins? Yeah, we need napkins, but are you the one in charge? Hey. Yeah, but there's really good well, then, well, then you should just smarten up that if you're in charge, make someone do, do your job. Okay, make them well, do what they're supposed to do. Napkins. Yes, there is. Because I got down, if I drove down the road, I would have gotten open up my shit. Look at something that's not one napkin in my in my bag. Shut up. I'm not talking to you. She's the manager. I'm talking to her. Okay, well, we're talking to you too. Then you need to do your job. Okay, you need to calm down. No, I'm not. I'm talking okay, to you. So I'm telling you. Do? I'm telling you. You need to make sure things are done right. Okay. I own a business for 27 you years. Business? Yes, I own a business for 27 okay, years. No, I'm not. So you're in charge, and you're in charge. You make sure that they don't screw up. But you understand yeah. the same happen all No, they the happen time. all the time, dude. Yes. We, we had we had five mistakes at the drive-thru, no, and then no napkins. Come on. Well, there you go. Okay, Start that. Okay, this Karen lost it, accusing people of mistreating a perfectly happy dog. The dog's fine, but she might need a checkup. I don't know where I got you. So, who are you? So, who are you? Just call police. Okay, call them. Get out of my way! Call them. You're cruel to that to dog. Don't say anything to her. I watched you all the way down there. Find you! Get out of my way. You've just assaulted you me on poor camera. You poor little thing. Look at its eye. You've been cruel to that your dog. Eye. You've been cruel to that dog. You poor little thing. Okay, what is your name? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Think I'm frightened of you? I am not. I'm frightened of you. Are you getting the police here urgently or not? Yes, come in. Emergency number. Let's talk them. RSPCA. Yep, yeah, RSPCA. Get them down here yeah. as well. Anyone yeah, else? Cruel. Cruel. Anyone else? Who are you? 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 I'm asking you. The Who are you? Cruel bastard. Which side of the bed did you wake up on? Are you married? What's that got to do with you? I'm just wondering what bloody man's putting up with this. Oh my goodness. No, Karen compilation is complete without one claiming everything is her property. This one lost it over her neighbor's fence. Guess she didn't like the correct property line. So what's the deal? Why are, you, why are these guys on my lot? You want to be a tough neighbor, and I'm going to be tough back. I want them off my lot, and you're not putting anything there. The fence thing is being replaced at your husband. You know what? I, I'm, you know what? You created nothing but crap with all your picture taken. We are cutting down, down trees, which actually ultimately helped you. All right? We, we took back your property for you because it was creating so many leaves and everything. Why are you taking pictures? I'll call the cops. My husband told me to call the cops. You want me to do that? Yes, and I will show him where the property line is. You don't even have, you have no idea where the property line is. Well, you don't know what you're speaking about. You don't yeah. either, because you weren't here when it was put in. You have not, you weren't here when it was put in, okay? Or you weren't old enough to know. Don't even yeah. go there. You don't know what you're you saying. You don't even know what you're talking about. You can't be a sh neighbor and take pictures and make my life difficult when I want to cut down trees and then do this. You're so full of crap. God, you've got me so mad right now. Well, that's what you get for being a neighbor. That's what you get. You get what you give. This is what your you husband... You get what you get. You know that? I wouldn't have said boo to you, but you want to be a shitty neighbor and sit out here and take pictures and video while we're sitting there trying to cut down trees. And all you can do is sit there and complain. Your neighbor, your own neighbor has been assigned to get out. Does that give you a hint? When they spray paint on your side, the fence keep off. Close your eyes and it sounds like a broken train horn, but it's really just a Karen screeching at a fast food joint. Someone must have missed her daily dose of drama. This Kevin tried to threaten someone with a stick, but Karma had other plans. He fell flat on his face. Talk about instant justice. Ah. 
Entitled Karen tried to barge into this man's car because he was parked in front of her house. He just kept eating and filming. Unbothered Levels expert. See how far your support can go at Unbound.org. This report is sponsored by Unbound.org. So Cal, weather partly cloudy tonight, lows in the mid-60s. Sunny tomorrow with highs around 90 and 406 degrees in the Inland Empire. This report brought to you by, by Unbound.org. And we're heading to a stall on the 110 in downtown L.A. <laughs> Taking a license plate off a car, this Karen strutted away with her headphones on like she just did something cool. Spoiler, she didn't. Karen seemed to hate anything that moves fast. This one blocked a road so sports cars couldn't pass. Too bad there was still space for them to get through. Karen thinks parking in the same spot for 10 years gives her ownership over it. News flash, it doesn't. <laughs> You're right there, love. What? How can we take pictures of me? I've been parking in this space for the past 10 years. So you can use one of those. Yeah, but so can you. Oh, excuse me. I mean, do you know who my boyfriend is? <laughs> is your boyfriend? Do you have any idea who my boyfriend is? <laughs> what is your boyfriend? He's Kyle Smith. <laughs> This young biker was threatened by Kevin just for riding his motorcycle. When did kids become such a threat to these Karens and Kevins? Call the cops on you, you understand? What? You ride that motorcycle in that park one more time and I'm calling the police on you. Do you understand me? This is where kids play. This is not a track for motorcycles. Kids are at school. They're not. I just picked mine up. Oh. And this is not a place where you ride goddamn motorcycles. It's a park. You don't got You do it again, I'm calling the cops. You understand? All right, now I'm calling the cops. I'm so scared. How about I just kick your Then you'd get charged with assault of a minor. You ride your motorcycle on this park again and you're gonna go to jail. Says who? Me. What if they don't catch me? Get the out of here now. You come back over here again and I'm calling the cops. I live over here. I don't give a if you don't ride your goddamn motorcycle in the park. Go. Oh, God. What year am I in? Thanks for like 50,000 views on TikTok. Don't give a f you don't like your motorcycle in a park where kids play. That is not a motorcycle park. I know. So why are you riding your motorcycle on the grass? Because it's fun. Yeah? Well, you're not supposed to. Okay. Do it again and I'm calling the cops. I thought you were calling the cops already. Get out of here, you little shit. No. Another Karen yelling at a kid for riding his bike because she thinks bikes shouldn't be on the road. Good thing this kid wasn't having any of it. This is a public road. This is a public road. I'm not backing up for you. We're all tired of this. We're on this road again. But the cops will be here. Karen's always find the worst reasons to be mad. This one complained about a crying newborn disturbing her sleep. Lady, it's called earplugs. Can you please stop your baby from crying? I've just done a full night shift and I really just need to be some quiet to go to sleep. Oh, that's going to be quiet. 
Pretty much. Understand this new phone, baby. I understand. Just f them up when you want to. They're not on and off. I know. I understand that, but it's constant. It's constant from as soon as I get home all I'm day. I'm trying my best to get the baby to sleep and to settle when I can. Listen, I, I, I completely get you. From one mum to another, I get it. My son is now five. But I, honestly, he didn't cry like this. Man. I'm trying my absolute best and I don't need to worry about other people and whether they're getting sleep or not when I'm worrying I know, about but I baby. just need some sleep. You must understand what it's like to be trying to get into I do, routine, but why now? It surely should be in a routine by now. It's been going on so long. Just keep your windows closed. Get some, get it's some not the same though, is it? It's not the same. I just need some sleep. I'm absolutely worn out. I've done five nights i've done in a row and i'm, I'm done problem. now i'm exhausted myself i'm exhausted with this trying my best i don't need to worry about your sleep this Karen tried to stop a car from parking like she's superman but hilariously failed yet she still had the nerve to be mad good job brother good job man yeah good job for it oh sorry <laughs> Oh, that's tough. That's tough. You called me a dumb fuck Oh, first. you gave me the finger. No, you I just said it. I got the, it on camera. I gave you the finger <laughs> after you called God, me a I dumb fuck. Mind your own business. Is it in this Karen's vocabulary? She tried to stop workers from doing yard work because it's Sunday. Seriously? You want leave my stuff alone. Leave my stuff alone. Go ahead and put it in. Go ahead and put the gas in, Brody. We working. We working. Now, was that so tough? Would you leave us alone, lady? What's your name? George. <laughs> yeah, you look like a George. Thank you. Georgina. I got you on video, too. By Good. The way. I don't care about it. Yeah. I don't care about that. Well, maybe not, but I'm going to talk to the apartment manager. Yeah, you do that. Yeah. Have a great day. Yeah. Are you going to continue to run? Yes, we are. It's Sunday afternoon. I don't care. We're working. Just because somebody's just because it's Sunday don't mean people people stop working. Uh, well, you should. You should. Rest. Says who? You Says should. who? Right. Thank you. I Go ahead, finish doing what you're doing, G, so we can get the out of here, man. Because you're just videotaping. Eh? You say fill it up. Yeah. Go ahead, and fill it up, man. Matter of fact, that should be good enough right there. Cause we only got a little bit oh left. Gosh, you got gas all over. Oh no, the place is gonna burn down in the sweat. Oh no, oh, 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 oh. Poor Karen. Poor Karen. What you got to say, man? What you What you got to say, bro? I ain't bothering nobody. This Karen lost it when the taxi driver called her miss. She raged the whole ride because, of course, that's what Karens do. I'm telling you it's a freaking problem. And I'm saying to you, thank you, miss. And, yeah. and then all of a sudden you start, to, you start to be angry. Why would you say thank you, miss? I don't... Because I'm trying to be polite. But how do you know I, don't, I identify as a miss? I might be a miss. Identify? I, I might be something else. I don't know. What, uh, I'm not asking for identification ID. I'm just saying thank well, you, I miss. I think it was disrespectful. How, you, how is it disrespectful? Because you don't know me. I've literally just got in your cab. Yeah, and you said nice I've car. The and then I say thank you, miss. Five minutes. Okay. And you okay. call me miss when it's not your place, is it? It's You're not, not family. Right. You're not a friend. But I'm trying to be polite, saying thank you, miss. Well, I don't think that's polite. I think that's disrespectful. Disrespectful to what? To me. How, how is it disrespectful for how you? How do you know I identify as anything? What do you mean, identify? You know, like gender. Gender? Yeah. What do you mean I by gender? I might be a they. They? You know, you're, you're that. You're I a woman. Be... You're a woman over here. I can see you're my eyes. Right, okay. Okay. So that makes it okay. Uh, okay for what? Uh, you 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 you're giving me complimenting, so and then I, I and then I give you, you thank you. If I was to say to you thank you, Mister, do yes. you think that's all right? You of don't course. Think that sounds disrespectful. You're, usually, people in England uh, using English, they say sir. So maybe you say sir. I don't. Hey, Mister is okay, but uh, <laughs> m maybe you don't have education, so maybe you only oh. say Mister. So I, I don't know. Okay. Now. This Karen accused her neighbor of running an illegal business with zero evidence. When confronted, she got even angrier. Talk about audacity. 
bicycle business in this property, I take pictures. Two party like property, what does that mean? Means you guys in trouble. Excuse you? No one's doing a business. You are doing this illegally, and what you are doing is illegal business. You are doing illegal business, 432. What are you even Shame talking us. about? You are not welcome in this community. You are not welcome in this community. What are you You're doing suspicious business in this property. You are doing multiple businesses. Get out of here. What are you talking about? You are talking about here. You know what you are doing. This drunk Kevin harassed fast food workers by spitting on them, then got mad when the cops showed up. Some people just can't handle the truth. Hey, um, can you video me? It's yeah. America. Come on. It's America. Oh, look what's behind you. Look what's behind you. Take a look. It's America. Time to go. It's America. It's America. Time to go. It's America. What I do? What I do? What you woke I do? up. That's what you what did. I you did. woke up. What I do wrong? What I do wrong? You woke up. Hey. What I do wrong? Time to go. You gonna tell me you're wrong? You gonna tell me you're wrong? What I do wrong? Get in the what car, go. Wrong? What I do wrong? What I do wrong? Get in the what car and go home. What I do wrong? What did 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 I do wrong? I hate. I hate like. What did you say? What did I do wrong? What did you say? Nothing. He said I hate black people. What I do wrong? Wow. What I do wrong? Karens love to make mountains out of molehills. This one freaked out because of an ambulance that was parked in the bike lane. Lady, it's an emergency. I am losing my god mind. Here is an ambulance in the bike lane. There is a business. They could park in. They could block the car lane. They could block the non-existent motorcycles park lane. They, I just had to say wheels. This Kevin decided to serenade everyone at the airport with M&M's not afraid. Well, he should be afraid. The cops are coming. Together, big storm. Everybody, come take my hand. This world will take together through the storm. And I can't stop living this way. I'm coming out of my cage. This beach Karen lost it when she saw people chilling on her beach. It's public, but good luck telling her that. There goes the fence. Just because of people like oh, I can do whatever oh, I want to. So get I'm not joking around. That's not a thing. It's not harassment on the beach. It's harassment in my home property. Whoa. Get out of here. Now. That's your crime. Will you? Yeah, that's what happens when you're angry for no reason. You bet I'm angry. I do. This is not an Instagram moment place. You're in my property. Get moving now. Now you're in my property line. Move it. Ma'am, we're f walking. Pretty f slow. Jesus Christ. Don't use the word for me to do. Shut the f up. Come on, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you're not any better. Come on, Ethan. Yeah. Thank you. 
Man, I wish TikTok could see this. <laughs> Karen of the week. Karen of the week. <laughs> oh, boys. A man in a wheelchair was blocked by a Karen who had parked in a handicapped spot. She claimed to be handicapped too, but refused to help him out. Where's the kindness? Such bull. Oh, I'm not Would you like to come see? Look at this. Came out of Walmart after 45 minutes. And this is this is just not not necessary. So my son sitting out here, we're like in. 50 degree weather. Oh, I have a ramp. I cannot get in my car. Y'all, I'm so over it. And if that's just your parking strategy as a grown adult, you need an eye exam, then you need a DMV visit, and then you need a driver's ed course. Because my quadriplegic crippled fat ass can drive and park much better than that in reverse. This person's walking up right now. They are not going to be happy. I'm waiting. It's over just a little bit. Okay. And I have a handicap stick. All, I, all I'm asking, it's 50 degrees. Hey, listen, you came and hollered at me through the gate. No, and then, I came to see if it was my car. Then you took the time to go check out before you came out? Yeah, yeah. I've been in the store. I went I've been in the store. You know what you could have said? Hey, I'm not going to be in a rush. So instead of sitting out there in the cold, you and your son might want to go sit inside. Just a little bit of consideration. Thank you to check out. It makes me mad because someone doesn't give five seconds of their life make it easier for someone else even if you don't know why not just be nice and try this kevin called the cops on a lady eating lunch in her parked car because it was in front of his house public parking dude look it up this guy is calling the cops on me because i'm sitting in front of his house on a public street hi I don't know who you are. You're sitting in front of my house. Oh, yeah. Um, turns out I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> what a creep, bro. <clears throat> yeah, I get the cops over here. Good job, Ken. Bro, this white dude's calling the cops on me because uh, apparently I am doing drugs in my car and I'm belligerent because I told him it was a free country and uh, I can sit in my car if I want to. Mr. Ken over here, he doesn't like people in front of his house. If you don't drive a Tesla, he's gonna call the cops on you. Uh huh. They're really gonna send someone out. Ooh. This Karen called the cops and threatened to tow someone's car for no reason. Even her daughter looked embarrassed by her behavior. He did was ask you to move the car, and you guys are like making a big, like you guys are laughing at her. Like why are you no, guys laughing at her? She no, she came at us calling us stupid. You are us? stupid. Oh. Mom. Mom. You are stupid. Hey, hey, we were just trying to Why talk respectfully. Watch me get this Mom. car towed. Okay. No, we, we were just trying to talk respectfully. No, you guys shouldn't even be here. Okay. Why not? You guys shouldn't even Why be shouldn't here. We? Let's keep going, girl. Okay. Well, let's keep hey, going. Hey, hey, hey. Little hey, one. Hey, we could, we could just be respectful. Let's keep Mom. going, little one. Mom. No, she thinks Stop. she's smart. She Stop. thinks she's smart. We don't know what set this Karen off, but she played the I'm calling the police card and hit a guy's car. The guy's patience is Saint level. And I'm calling the police. Please do. You hit me Bye bye. Hey, you don't hit my car. 
This young Kevin thought it'd be fun to splash water on people from his jet ski, but karma struck back. He broke the jet ski. That's what you get for being rude. Oh, what happened? What happened? You calling your mommy? You the jet ski up? That's what happens when you around. Look at this. Oh. Oh, yeah, that ain't good. Dad's probably, Daddy's probably going to be pretty mad at that one. Damn. Maybe you shouldn't be dicking around in the no way explaining people. This Kevin had a problem with a guy riding a dirt bike and told him he wasn't allowed to be there. Why do they hate bikes so much? You know, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. You know, here, as long as everybody's fitting and everything. I mean, I'm just asking you questions. Yeah. Was I bugging you? No, it's, it's bothering me that you're up here with this, with your uh, bike. Do you live right over here? Yeah, I live right here. Okay, well, you shouldn't be up here with that. So I'll just turn this over to uh, or Oregon City PD. PD. Yeah, give yeah. it to him. Yeah, because you shouldn't be up here with it. Okay. It's a violation of our rules, dude. Okay. I don't know why you have the attitude. You should, you should just... Why do you have the, the attitude? attitude? You should just call the police right now. Well, you should not have me do it and just go down there and be respectful. No. I'm up here, man. It's a beautiful day. I'm having fun on my bike. I know. In a park. I wasn't bugging anybody. In fact, I was belong. leaving when I seen you come up. I was leaving. Okay. Well, then you, know? you should go. But you had to open your mouth, didn't you? You know. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. You need to go. You need to quit telling people what to do. All right. All right. Okay. This Karen was caught timing the cashier while waiting in line. We're betting she was already rehearsing her complaint speech. This Kevin and Karen duo harassed a man in his car, but he got sweet revenge by breaking Kevin's glasses. Now Kevin won't see his next target. You gonna shoot me? You're gonna shoot me, mate. Are you actually gonna shoot me? Yeah, but you're gonna shoot me. He said he was doing trigger fingers like he's a gangster. Have I got a gun? But why are you touching my don't in there? Don't come here, you head. Bro, listen. Look, I'm not a bully, right? But I'm like three times the size of you. Yeah, but don't touch my car. Hit my car, bro. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because this car is worth the. Listen. I spent a lot of money on this car, man. Don't no, do that. Well, you, don't no don't do that. You've got no money. I've got, okay. I'm going to do this, no, right? Please. I'm going to do this. All right. Okay. okay. I've taken okay, a picture. Okay. I'm going to take your glasses now. And now, there's your glasses that you damage in my Crocs. How's that? How's that? How's that? How's that? Yeah? This racist Kevin told a pretzel vendor to go back to his country, then got mad when he realized he was being filmed. Guess he was going viral. This is public land, yeah. so you should stop harassing them. I'm not yeah. You're saying discriminatory language. Why are you saying go back to your country? This, this Forrest Kevin thought he owned the whole trail and didn't want the guy recording to walk through. His entitlement was bigger than the forest. Well, I'd say go back because you're not supposed to be here. I'm already deep in. Where, where could I go back to? Just turn around. That's no way you can go up there. How you figure that? I did that before. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Uh, but I came this way 30 minutes. I might as well come this way to go out. How are you telling me what the way to the road is back that way? Just go ahead, man. I I'm minding my business. You should mind your own too. Well, no, I'm on my way. You're breaking I'm, the think law. I'm yeah, not breaking no. the This Kevin took a page from the Karen playbook and called the cops on a family grilling by the lake. His problem? They were cooking traditional food and speaking another language. Racism alert, Kevin. 
Hey folks, uh, this is, uh, there's so many other grills, we're like literally right next to you. It's disgusting smelling, to be it, honest. It's just beef, it's just No, no, it, I'm listening to you guys over there, you guys are all talking in your language, cooking your own food, it smells insane. It down the way, I'm looking at it, like you could go anywhere else. Like, don't make us listen to this all night. Listen. Come on. We're literally just... We're in America. This is a public place. Whoa, we brought a whoa, dog here, too. Wait. You know there's no dogs here. Problem, this bro. is just, like, our our typical food. Like yeah, I'm this. out on a Monday afternoon with my family yeah, on our yeah, last week of Sunday. Go. Come on. Hey, you go. Minutes. Yeah. These poor fishermen's boat broke down, but instead of helping, a couple of Kevins in another boat tried to sink them by splashing water. Just when you think people can't get any ruder, they do. Oh, this guy's trying to sink us. What is he doing? Man, relax. We have boat problems. Our engine is not working. Man. Paddle. Man, to honestly, I, we're trying to. We're trying to. Look, look, look. We're trying to. We're trying to relax. Paddle man, I don't want to break my camera. This guy's a freak out. Respect us, Elmo. We are! You said that! Man, if they have kids here, then stop swearing! I'm sure the kids don't want to hear you cussing all the time, so don't say that to us. We're trying to leave- This Karen decided that a woman's beach outfit was too much because her husband couldn't stop staring. Sorry Karen, but that's a him problem, not a her problem. Is he safe? Yeah. My husband's over there and he's looking at you. Okay. You need to put some clothes on. Like, this is a beach. Yeah, it's a beach. I'm allowed to wear a bikini at the beach. You should put some clothes on. I don't want to look at that. And neither does my husband. Well, they moved somewhere else. I... Okay. Karen stormed into the road and accused a Lamborghini of trying to run her over. Spoiler, the car wasn't moving an inch, and she's perfectly fine. Drama level 100. Landlord Karen barged into this guy's home, accusing him of pouring feces on her porch. She even assaulted him and refused to leave. Because why not, right? You can. This is ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous to me that somebody would pour shit over on the limit. Let's go look, because nothing was what pouring did over say? the side. He said something smells bad. No, she said it was dumped over the side of the lanai. We can look, and you walking into the house is completely illegal. Okay. Miss, like, don't, don't you touch talk me. to me about don't, stuff don't like this. Me. You don't want me to me. start complaining about your behavior that I've been very quiet about? We can. What okay, have we I done? will. We'll get into it. Dude. And you just touch me <laughs> after oh, you walk into on, our house inside. illegally. Okay, go ahead. File a case. You want me to start filing There's cases? There's already people. I mean, Cliff I was knocked. here. You left the door open. And that doesn't mean you can walk I into our house. That's <laughs> illegal. And you okay, just grabbed okay, go me. ahead. Go ahead. So you can go ahead and look since you already helped yourself what into the house. To do? One tenant is complaining against the other one putting over the side. There's no I, I'm not sure what you're talking about and you walking into the house is completely okay. illegal. This is ridiculous. Can you please leave our house? Whose house? Our house that we pay rent for each month. Or I'm going to call the police. Okay, you go call the police. Shall I start to tell them about all the illegal drugs and everything else that's up here? What illegal drugs? Yes. Yeah. You want to do this? Misa, you really want to do you this? You just walk into our house and you just I put not. your hands on me. I knock. It doesn't matter if I you knock. It. it doesn't matter if you shout. That's illegal. And you just put your hands on me. Okay. That's it, dude. Last strong. Imagine renting an apartment and finding out your landlord, Karen, and her family have moved in with you. Yep, she thinks she owns the place, literally. Why are you living what? here? Why, why are you? I told you <clears> next up. A lot of people used to here, not only you used to, you know. Now here, a lot of people cooking, here cooking. 
Come here. I'm allowed to eat breakfast here. Now you said breakfast. And wash. Later, people. Later, have people over here. I came back to put my dish away. Here, maybe <clears> no <throat> doing here. Only but that, that's not your problem. It's my problem. This is here. my cup and my bowl. Yeah, now if you come I here. will put my dishes away. Okay, you put, you say you put it here. Well, Nobody you're not even. It. Finish it. You will <clears> be clean. You're finish. not even supposed to be living here. You listed the apartment with two roommates. You said that it was a three he bedroom. Don't know. He don't know. Who doesn't know? He, Your he son? Know. Yeah. He don't no, know. no. He. I tested him. Okay. You. He you, said no. Okay. No problem. You don't like here. You move. I no, no. no. So you, you took my people. money. Please. You Please. told Please. me. No problem. I don't you care. told me you, that you, only you, two people. People eat your next one. Me come here. Me first here. Me clean everything. No, later he can me. It doesn't matter. You say you, you, you say it doesn't hey, matter. Don't touch you know me. me, me, me thinking one. Me thinking one. It you doesn't say matter. No, you talking no problem. Me talking here problem. You they don't know. live here. You who not live here? You're not supposed to be living here. What happened? Me not live here. Because you apartment. told me that oh. two people lived here. So I asked you, do you live here? <laughs> Meet Water Kevin, the latest species of beach annoyance. He swims into a fishing area and demands the fisherman cut his lines because he doesn't think fishing should be allowed. Sorry, Kevin, but you're in the wrong place for that. Bring out! Let the spring out! You're on vacation waiting at an airport when a Karen suddenly loses it over baggage. Just another day in the life of someone who thinks the world revolves around them. You want my brain back? Exactly, exactly. So I'm going to. Best believe if I'm gonna leave without my shit. So best believe I'm gonna have my shit here. No, no, because I have a connecting flight somewhere. I have a connecting flight. Give me my shit. This racist Kevin harassed some 15-year-old girls and threatened to call the cops for no reason. When another man stepped in, Kevin got so scared he tried to change his story. Classic. You don't belong in this development. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Live here. I'm not telling, I'm not telling you. you. We live here. I live here. Okay. Where do you live? Why would we tell you any of this? Oh, where do you live? I'm not telling where you. Where do you live? I'm not telling you. Okay, not a problem. I'm going to call the gate and have you all arrested. You're home. Okay. You do not deserve to be in here. Okay. okay. What did we even do wrong? There's like, I have to wait for that five minutes while they're screwing around the road. No. We're oh, we're backing up for you. We're backing up for you. you. We're moving for hey. you. And you say you're going to hit a car? Do you have a problem? Because I can get my grandfather in yeah. You're going to hit us with a car? Now. Bring him out right now. <laughs> Bring him out right now. Just don't argue, guys. Thank you. It's not worth it. Thank you. It is because you're driving illegally. Um, I wasn't okay, driving. but you're coming out at 15-year-olds. So you're going to hit us with a uh, car. Because you're 15 years old? You could marry in Mississippi or Alabama. This is so not Mississippi or Alabama. Car? This is Florida. It's Florida. Okay. Sure. So you're gonna hit us no, with no, a car? Don't stick your hand up. Did you threaten a child? I did yeah. not threaten, did threaten a child. I have it on video. You just said you're gonna hit I have it on video. Someone with your car? No, I did not. Yes, you did. We have it on. Go inside. I did not. Let me see the video. A racist boomer Kevin tried to start something with a couple at a fast food place, but couldn't even get his words out. It's like his own body was too ashamed to let him be a Kevin. 
How did you do that? Uh, because you're black. Uh. My daughter, uh, I have my wife. Okay, we don't need to continue this conversation. Come back. I don't know why. My mother, but. I'm confused. I'm confused too. I'm actually confused. This Kevin was so desperate for a Hello Kitty cup at a fast food place that he shoved his way behind the counter to get one for free. Maybe he should get a job instead of grabbing things that aren't his. This Karen freaked out because of the bus driver who had missed her stop. Next time, Karen, pay attention instead of being, well, a Karen. Hey, pull the thing! Over a parking spot, this racist Karen decided to be rude to an Asian woman. Seriously, Karen, it's just a parking spot, not a piece of land you discovered. You call me a Chinese I did! I did call you that, yes! And you're not Why would you say that? What does that have to do anything with a parking Listen, spot? You were, you were mad because you had to move your car, and I've seen you I wasn't the, even mad with all, you. You were mad, yeah. And that's I was not mad. Tonight. I calmly, I, no I calmly. Six feet apart, lady. Six feet apart. Don't put, your, feet. Don't put your feet on me. Just now. stay I'll apart. Your no, fucking no, face. You just I'm said you weren't face. trying to fight yeah, anyone. You and I are like. You mind your fucking business. Six feet away. You mind your fucking six business. You don't have no problem. This is between me and her, not you. You is a parking spot. I'll put you in your fucking face, you Chinese. And it's good you call the cops if you punch me, right? I didn't. I didn't punch you. I said I'm gonna punch you. And if you do, I'm glad you called the cops for yes. yourself. Yeah, go f*** yourself. All right. Have a good day. They come from China. You believe these fucking Chinese people? They come from China. What did you say? What did you say? Say it again. I can't wait for Twitter to see this sh I can't wait for Twitter to see it. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. F*** it again. Mike f Pants. F Mike Pants. F*** them. F*** them. F*** them. This racist Karen greeted black people at a traffic stop by singing and throwing racial slurs. Not exactly the warm welcome anyone asked for, Karen. No problem, I understand. You got her? White lives matter too! White lives matter too! And before the blacks were slaves, the Irish were! So get behind me! Yay, Irish. team right? Irish! Yeah, uh-huh. CD six oh eight. I already got him up.